Hi guys, VST here and as welcome back on my channel. I have the marvelous Huawei P40 Pro in my hand and today I want to show you guys the top 10 tricks and tips you should do when you have this phone in your hand. The first thing that I want to show you guys is how you can engage dark mode. So when you go to the quick settings here, right, there is a button called dark mode. You hit the dark mode and you can immediately see that you're already using it. When you go to the settings, it's gonna be pitch black. When you just kind of like go to the notifications, it's gonna be kind of grayish. But what I do like about this dark mode implementation in Huawei is that you will have also the widgets toned into this kind of dark color. So let's say if I remove the dark mode right now, you're gonna see that my widget is gonna get white again. This is very, very handy. And again, it's very good for your eyes. Tip number two is gonna be around the apps management. When you go to the settings, you're gonna see that you have a section called apps. Inside you have apps launch, permission manager, default apps, app system, everything related. But when you go to app launch, you're gonna see that there is a way for you to manage your applications. So if you don't want them to be managed automatically, so let's say AliExpress, don't like it, I can remove the automatic management and I can manually set it up for auto launch when the phone, let's say, restarts, or let's say secondary launch, or it can even stay in the background or not stay in the background. So you can decide this manually for all the applications that you run. Of course, there is also the option for you to just hit here, boom, manage all automatically, and then, yeah, phone is gonna do this for you. Tip number three is gonna be around the one-handed mode. You know, it's something that I pretty much like about that phone. Just see what happens. I do it like that, see? Now I can use everything that I have on my phone with this small screen here. If you wanna get outside, you just press somewhere here. Let me test this one more time. Okay, the swipe worked. It is a pretty much pretty easy thing to be set up, guys. So it should go again to settings and then you should go to accessibility features. Inside you can see one-handed mode. When you go to one-handed mode, we're using here method one, which is like this swipe here, showing it on the screen. It's very, very easy. As we are still here into the accessibility section, there are more things that you can do, guys. So you can go to shortcut and gestures, and apparently there is something called take screenshot, record screen, wake screen, all of these things where you can set up some gestures. But when you go to take screenshot, you can see that there is a way for you to use the knuckle. See? Boom! I just take a screenshot, but I want to show you guys something else. You see, pay attention. I take my hand. See, a hand icon is displayed, I hold my fist, boom. I can make a, like an air screenshot. And actually this is quite, quite nice. It's something called air gestures. So you can go here to air gestures and you see there is an air scroll and grab shot. So let me try to demonstrate this to you guys. If you're browsing something on the internet and you say you like it, right? so let's say I wanna do a screenshot of this image here. You just take your hand, you position it like in front of the phone until you get here an icon, you see, hand icon, and then you just hold the fist and boom, you have a screenshot. So let's say you're washing the dishes, hand your hands are dirty, boom, you can do it like this, as easy as that. Tip number five is gonna be around the always on display. So you should go again to settings, display, and you're gonna see more display settings always on display. When you go to always on display, you can apparently turn it on and off, but you can also choose a clock style, varying from some analog ones to some fancy animated ones. So let's choose this one, this one is very fancy. Voila, you're gonna get your always on display. It's very stylish and very easy to use. Tip number six involves some privacy management. So let's go again to settings. I'm gonna go straight to privacy. Something very important, guys. We have here the permission manager, the private space, us and share analytics. Usually these things are set to on. You should remove share analytics if you don't wanna share data with Huawei and also go to ads and make sure that you disable this personalized ads. You don't wanna see those ads. Again, make sure that you disable this one and also remove the previous one, the share analytics. But now why are we here in the privacy? Permission manager, all right? You can check here which applications are using some of your resources like storage, like the location, like the camera. So let's say I wanna see which five application on my phone are using my microphone, and I can see that the AI voice, the camera, and the contacts, and the messaging, and the recorder are using my microphone. So let's say I don't want the contacts to be using the microphones. I just go there, I can press deny, boom, deny anyway. Now, of course, contacts is a system apps, maybe not the best thing to do, but anyway, the idea is that you are in control here. Tip number seven is the Split screen usage, how can you use split screen on this phone? You need to go into the recent settings. Let's say I wanna use the browser. The reason I can hear is not 100% self-explanatory, but when you hit that icon, you're gonna get the browser into a standalone window. And let's say right now I wanna use my messages app. I just click the messages app. Still not very useful and not user-friendly, but then you have to hold here and put it there and boom. And you know what is the best thing about this mode? When you go into your recent task, it's gonna be pre-saved like this. Again, very, very fancy. 
Tip number eight is gonna be this petal search. This really is a crazy, crazy good application from Huawei. When you click it the first time, you're just gonna think it's, oh, it's kind of like a normal search engine where I have the weather, the news, and etc. But when you go to search, guys, and if you wanna type, let's say, an application, you soon are going to see that it will give you some very nice information, not only images, not only news, and etc., but also links to APKs. And of course, that's a very easy way for you to install applications that are not available here into the original Huawei App Gallery, which by the way has these very annoying ads. Tip number nine is just using the smart refresh and the smart resolution on this phone, which will give you more and more juice for the battery. You need to go to settings, then you need to hit the display button, you need to scroll down a bit and you can see here we have screen resolution and screen refresh rate. Pay attention guys. I am using the smart resolution which automatically will lower the screen resolution to save power when I'm not using the phone so extensively and I'm also using a high screen refresh rate which will bump my refresh rate up to 90 Hz but it's not fixed in 90 Hz and it's something that I really like about this phone because we know that Huawei really are the king of batteries and this is actually for a reason. Things like this are helping them to do so. And last but not least tip number 10 is going to be around setting some private DNS to again enhance your privacy. You can go to settings here, you can go to more connections and you see here there's something called private DNS. When you go into the private DNS, it's gonna be always set to auto, but you can also choose and configure some private DNS. And one of these private DNS is actually dns.adgut.com. It's a very nice one and you can of course use that one. Make sure that all your browsing works. This will enhance your privacy and you're gonna get less and less ads while you're scrolling and you're using your device. And with this, I think I'm concluding the top 10 tricks and tips for the EMA 10. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. If that's the case, you might want to consider subscribing for my channel. I have more videos like this on Huawei, Samsung, OnePlus, etc. I wish you guys a great day and stay safe. We're gonna catch up in my next video. So with that said, guys, VST over and bye.